Do your children defy you a lot sometimes? Do they just never listen? Do you want them to cooperate more with you? Hi, my name is Jyotika Bedi. I'm the founder of Happiness is Love. I have three teenagers myself. At one point or another, nearly all children will dig their heels, especially in teenage years look at their parents and respond with an empathetic no when they have been told to do something. As frustrating as this can be to hear, non-compliance can be a part of a healthy child's development. Let's underscore that. When children test our limits or start to assert themselves, all they are doing is trying to be more independent. And while Budding independence is very healthy and ongoing pattern of defiance is not. So let's be mindful of that. Whether your child says you can't make me when you tell them to pick up their toys or they pretend they cannot hear you when you tell them it is time to come inside, taking appropriate action will only motivate them to start listening better. So I have for you here 10 steps to dealing with non-compliance. You are not alone. Give positive attention. Non-compliance can be a great way for kids to get lots of attention. Did you know that? Even though it is, a, it is negative attention, some kids crave it anyways. In fact, one popular study found that ignoring non-compliant behavior was effective in getting kids to be more compliant. Another way to ward off the attention-seeking behavior of non-compliance was to give your child daily doses of positive attention. Play a game together. Spend more quality time talking together. Or go for a walk together. Or maybe cook something together. Just a few minutes of positive attention can go a long way in reducing defiance. And whatever you will praise will grow. Praise compliment, compliant behavior. While it can be hard to notice good behavior when your child is constantly refusing to listen to you, it's also a signal for you. It is important to find good behaviors to praise because whatever you will praise will continue. You may even have to give your children some simple requests for the sole purpose of praising their compliance and this is very, very effective. For example, at the dinner table, you might say, please hand me the pepper, let's say, or please hand me this dish. Then as soon as they comply, say, thank you, Ayana, for handing the pepper to me, right? When I asked you to do it. So you have praised the behavior. This compliment or praise sends the message or the signal that you appreciate their compliance. And the more you will appreciate, the more you'll get it. Give effective instructions. Make sure the defiant behavior you are witnessing is actually defiance. If your children do not hear you or they are too distracted playing their video games or using their phones, we all know how digitally distracted our children are, you may need to change how you give instructions, how you give directions. Establishing eye contact or putting a hand on their shoulder will help you get their attention before you speak. Turn off the background noise and make sure your kids are paying attention so they can absorb what you are saying or you are telling them to do. Make sure that your body language is positive. What you say and how you say is important. Offer specific choices. One of the best ways I have learned to combat defiant behavior is to offer two choices. When you offer choices, your kids feel like they have some control over them or over the situation. Avoid questions like, do you want to get dressed now? Because a defiant child will automatically say no. You will be met with a no. Ask questions like, do you want to wear your red shirt or the yellow shirt? Two choices. Just make sure that you can live with your child's choice. This is very important before providing the options, but give them choice so that they feel a sense of control and power. Use grandma's rule of discipline. Grandma's rule of discipline, which frames things as incentives rather than pointing out negative consequences can be one of the best ways to encourage compliance. When used regularly, children begin to see that they have some control over when they earn their privileges. Make sure that you reward good behavior. So instead of saying you can't play your video game because you haven't cleaned your room, try saying this instead. 
you can play your video game as soon as you're done cleaning your room. Say it warmly, calmly and respectfully. The slight change in your message can motivate your child to get the work done. All you've done is altered your communication style. Create a reward system which I find very effective. Create a reward system that gives your child an incentive to be compliant. Provide frequent positive reinforcements and consider creating a token economy system to keep your child on track. Very, very effective. This is a form of behavior modification that works to encourage healthy cooperative behaviors by offering positive reinforcers or rewards. And let me give you an example. For example, children are rewarded with a token each time my children when they listen to my instructions without arguing. Then they exchange tokens for bigger rewards like time with their electronics or an opportunity to maybe go to the store or to the park. This is again something that I follow with all three of my children and it's really proved to be very effective. Develop a behavior contract. Behavior contracts remind our children that they can earn more privileges and rewards once they show that they behave responsibly. An effective behavior contract helps children demonstrate when they are ready for more privileges. Make sure that you have these conversations with them. For example, when bedtimes are a battle, the behavior contract might address this issue. In the contract, provide the option of staying up 15 minutes later on weekends after children show that they can go to bed on time for one week or Monday to Friday without arguing. Avoid those power struggles. I know it's hard, but it's not impossible. Avoid getting into a power struggle with a non-compliant child. When you fight for power, it will only make the defiance worse. Instead, use a warning such as as if in a statement, then a statement to turn the behavior around. Offer one warning only and then follow through with the consequence when necessary. Set a boundary and hold that boundary. It is really important not to waver on your if then statements. If you do, it will then encourage more defiance because they do not think anything will really happen if they defy you because you're just giving them empty threats. So make sure you give that warning once only. Next, use logical consequences. Each instance of non-compliance can be addressed with a negative consequence sometimes. A timeout or a logical consequence such as loss of a privilege, losing their phone for some time are effective ways to discourage defiance and you can do this warmly, kindly and firmly. Remember consistent discipline is the key to reducing defiant behavior and that's really on you. Seek professional help if you're struggling. Although extreme defiance can signal a more serious problem such as an oppositional defiant disorder maybe or a, 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 occasional defiance and non-compliance are normal behavior problems. If you are concerned too much that your child might have a serious problem or if your discipline strategies are not working, talk to your child's pediatrician or even better get professional help and this is what we do at happiness is love do try to use these tips and techniques and tell us in the comment below if they have worked with your children and if you are struggling you are not alone we at happiness is love are here for you we care deeply because we believe that together we are stronger together we are better and we parents are responsible for raising a future generation which is respectful and responsible stay tuned for more thank you for watching